Good morning, everyone. So this is Miles Park and Salva, and for today's lesson, we're going to talk all about the external and internal users of financial information. So let's proceed first. Sa objective. So at the end of the lesson, you are to first define the external users and give example. Number two, define internal users and give example. Number three, identify the types of decision made by each group of users. And last, we have to describe the type of information needed by each group of users. Let's um, define what is internal users. When we say internal users, um, these uh, internal users of accounting information are those individuals inside a company who plan, organize, and run the business. Okay, so ito po yung mga tao na nasa loob ng isang negosyo or sa loob ng company. Na kung saan sila po yung nagpaplano, nag-organize, and nagmamanage ng business. So these users are directly involved in managing, operating the business. These include include marketing managers, production supervisor, finance director, company officers, and owners. So, ito po yung mga example ng mga tao from internal. Okay, so we have the marketing managers, the production man supervisors, the finance director, company officers, and owners. Also, kasama din, di, kasama din na ang mga employees, ordinary employees sa internal users. So, internal users, primary users of accounting information include the following. So, first, we have the management. So, information needed, um, income earnings, income or earnings for the period, sales, available cash, production costs. Okay, so the accounting information na kailangan ng management is yung sabi ko kanina. So, they need to know kung ilan yung sales and kailangan din malaman nila kung ilang cash yung available na gagamitin once there's an event or there, there's a transaction sa isang business or sa isang company. And decision supported, analyze the organization performance and position and take appropriate measures to improve the company result. Sufficiency of cash to pay dividends to stockholders pricing decision. Okay, so once na meron silang financial report from accountants, okay, they can assess and they can uh, they can have a good decision once na nakita nila kung ano yung uh, kung ano yung uh, meron na pera or may anong information ang meron sa kanila sa about finance. Okay, so they can they can improve the company result by having a good decision, then they can also have a sufficiency to pay dividends to stockholders. So next naman internal users is we have the employees. So information needs, so ito yung kailangan nilang information about accounting. The first one is to prove profit for the period, the salaries paid to paid to employees. Okay? So they need to know the information about the profit and also the salary is paid to employees. So ilan yung salaries nila, kaya need din nila ng information or primary information about uh, the inflow and outflow of demand from the company. So the decision supported, uh, job security, consider staying in the employee of the company or look for other uh, for other employment opportunities. So, bakit nasabi ito? Because it is very important for employees na malaman kung ilan or kung ano nangyayari sa finance ng isang company. It's because for their job security. And also, um, alam nila kung maganda ba yung takbo ng negosyo and once na maganda yung takbo ng negosyo, they can stay there. Pero once na hindi na uh, maganda and there is a tendency na mag uh, there is a tendency na madugi and hindi kaya ni ng business yung business yung business eh, um it is the right time para umalis doon sa company and humanap ng bagong opportunity so next we have the owner so one of the primary user 
is the owner. So they are the one uh, who build or put the business. So information needs. So ito yung mga kailangan ng information. First is the profit or income for the period. Second, we have the resources or assets of the business and liability of the business. So, of course, as an owner, as an owner of the business, you need to know kung ilan yung profit na nakukuha mo every time na nagkakaroon kayo or nagkakanda kayo, uh, nagkakanda kayo ng transaction. Okay? Uh, dapat alam mo kung may pumapasok pa ang pera or meron bang gumalabas na pera from the business. And the resources of assets of the business, you need to know kung ilan or kung ilan yung assets na meron ng isang negosyo. Kasi if ever na um, pawala na yung assets nyo or resources, uh, it is the right time na mag kumuha ng, uh, kumuha ng assets uh, outside of the business. Next is the liabilities of the business. Ibig sabihin po ng liabilities of the business, Kasi ito yung mga dapat bayaran ng, ng negosyo or ng business. Okay? So, it is, uh, it is also important to know yung liabilities para aware tayo kung lumuloba na, lumulobo na ba yung pagkakautang natin or um, alam natin kung kailan at hanggang saan yung limits ng negosyo. So, decision supported, consideration regarding additional investment, expanding the business, borrowing funds to support any expansion plan. So, um, the reason kung bakit need natin malaman ang financial report from the business is to know kung dapat ba tayo magkaroon ng additional investment and also to know kung need din natin mag-expand ng negosyo. And of course, if um, kakayanin pa ba natin maghiram ng fund from other um, from other uh, support uh, from other expansion expansion plans okay so accounting information is presented to internal users usually in the form of management accountants budget forecast in financial and financial statement so ganyan po pwede present ng mga accountant from the internal users uh, uh, through management accountants nga, budget, forecast, and financial statement. So this information will support whatever decision of the internal users. So let's proceed to external users. So when we say naman external users, these are the individual or organization, organization outside company who want financial information about the company. So, ito naman yung pagkakaiba uh, nila sa internal users. So, ito, ito, ito yung mga tao from, ito yung mga tao or organization sa labas ng company that wants to have an information about the financial or the financial information about the company. So, these users are not directly involved in managing and operating the business. So, ito pong mga users, hindi po direkta involved sa pagmamanage at pag-operate ng negosyo. So, the two most common type of external users are potential investors and creditor, uh, creditors. So, when we say potential investors, they use accounting information to make decisions to buy shares of a company. Okay, so, itong potential investor natin, they are using accounting information para aware sila kung dapat ba nga um, bumili sila ng share sa isang company kasi of course if you are the potential or if you are investor you need um, information from that company if maganda ba yung takbo or hindi ng isang company so next naman we have the creditors when you say creditors ito po yung suppliers and bankers they use accounting information to evaluate the risk of granting credit or lending money so from the word credit uh, credits they are the one who lend money from the business so they are uh, they evaluating the business kung okay lang ba na kung okay lang ba na pagamitin or they can borrow a money from us Okay, so once na maganda naman yung takbo ng isang negosyo, then it's up to the creditor na bigyan sila ng pera, then lalagyan na lang ng, uh, ano yan, konting 
uh, patong. Okay, so uh, another uh, external users are include as are includes the government regulatory agencies such as Security of Exchange Commission or also known as the SEC, the Bureau of Internal Revenue, also known as BIR, and the Lab Department of Labor and Employment, which is the DOLE, and the Social Security System, which is the SSS, and the local and, and the local government units, uh, also known as the LGUs. So external users. Uh, Secondary users of accounting information include the following. First, we have the creditor. So, for determining the creditworthiness of an organization, terms of terms of credit are set by creditors according to the assessment of their customers' financial health. Creditors include suppliers as well as vendors of finance, such as banks. Okay, so they need accounting information from the business for them to know who okay ba yung takbo ng isang negosyo or kung hindi maganda yung takbo ng negosyo. So, they can decide if they can, uh, if, the, if the business can borrow a money for them. Next naman is the tax authorities or the BIR. So, uh, they need accounting information to determine the credibility of tax return field on behalf of the company. So, when we say BIR, ito po yung nagko-collect ng tax from the, the companies or from the business. So, they need to know kung ilan ba yung profit, ilan yung sales na every period so, they, so that they can compute kung ilan yung tax na dapat i-collect from that company. Next naman is the investor. So, for investor, they need accounting uh, information for them to analyze the feasibility of investing in a company. Okay? If, if they need this information, if okay ba ang takbo ng negosyo and it is feasible for the company to invest. Okay? Once ba na nag-invest ako dito, maganda ba yung balik sa akin? So, investor want to make sure that they can earn a reasonable return on their investment before they commit any financial resources to a company. So that's the reason kung bakit kailangan ng investors, which is, which is one of the external users ng financial report or accounting report ng isang company. Next naman is customers. So customers daw po ay sisa ang external factors that also needs um, that also need information from the company. So for assessing the financial position of its suppliers, which is necessary for them to maintain stable source of supply in the long term. Okay, so they need to know financial report or financial, ayan, financial report for the company for them to know if the suppliers, if the suppliers can maintain a stable can maintain a can maintain a long term supply for them. So next, naman we have the regulatory uh, regulatory authorities such as SEC and Dolly. So they need financial report for yeah. them to ensure that the company's disclosure of accounting information is in accordance with our rules and regulations set in order to protect the interests of the stakeholders who rely on such information in forming their decision. So they need accounting information para maprotektahan or para maprotektahan nga yung mga stakeholders na nagbibigay na, or nag invest sa company. Okay? So they are the one na nagpo-protect sa rules and regulations ng company and they are also the one uh, na kung saan pwede ma-rely yan ng mga stakeholders if the company or the business are giving the true uh, accounting information for them. Okay, so that is the regulatory authorities. So the summary of the difference between internal and external users, uh, when we say internal users of accounting information are those who are involved in planning, organizing, running, and the, running the business. Okay, very simple. They are the one or they are the people who 
is involved in planning, organizing, and running the business. So they need more detailed information on a timely basis in order to support their decision. So they need the detailed information about the financial status nila para alam nila kung ano yung decision na gagawin nila. So example of this, internal users are the managers, employees, and owners. While yung external factors naman, they need accounting information. Are, are those internal users of accounting information are those individual or organize, organization outside the company who are interested in its financial information. Okay, so ito naman yung mga tao or organization outside of a company. So they are, uh, ano yan, wala naman sila. They're not involved the company but they want or they are interested sa, e sa financial information ng isang company. So, ang example po nito is the, is the potential investors, the suppliers, and the government agencies. So, I prepare an activity for you to, to answer. So, sabi dito, name the use and importance of financial statement to each of the following. So, you will just uh, tell kung bakit importante ang financial statements sa um, uh, sa mga nakalagay. Okay, the first one, you have the investor. The next one is the government, the customer credit, competi competitors and creditors. So, bakit nga ba importante ang financial statements sa bawat isa? Okay, so, for more information, ito po yung question asked by internal users. So, as you can see sa pictures, this cost is sufficient to pay bills. Can we afford to give employee pay uh, raises this year, which product client is the most profitable, and what is the cost of manufacturing each unit of product. So, yan yung uh, every time interview, internal users asking for themselves. Okay, so yan yung mga questions. Next naman sa internal, uh, external users naman tayo. Ito yung mga question. Does the company earn in satisfactory income? So because they want to know kung okay ba yung income ng company for them, for them to buy stock from the company. And next, why? How does the company compare in size and profitability with competitors? So they need also to compare the company from other company if maganda ba yung takbo ng isang negosyo. And last, will the company be able to buy the debts? as they come to, okay? So, okay ba, once na I'm a creditor, okay ba na, okay ba yung company once na pinahiram ko siya ng pera? So, hanggang dito na lang muna tayo. I hope you gain knowledge about the lesson. So, goodbye everyone.